Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. We are going to uh, start off 2020 with the bang as Ben and Jen Weatherston are going to be appointed evangelist and woman's counselor. Before I get into it, I want to recognize their family that's traveling from out of town here. We have uh, Ben's dad, Doug, is with us. We have Jen's mom, Joe, that's with us. Jen's sister, Deb, and her brother-in-law, Jen. You guys get the floor you to stand up so we can recognize Also, recognition of all the love that you guys have poured into these two. I was speaking with uh, Ben's dad earlier, and uh, Ben was a handful when he was younger, <laughs> doing the army crawl at church. Uh, I want to read a scripture here. Uh, it's in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 5, and Paul says to Timothy, But you keep your head in all situations, in your hardship, do the work of an evangelist, discharge all the duties of your ministry. Uh, God creates different roles in his church because he gives us different gifts. And God's intent for leadership is in the church is that it would equip and mature God's people. An evangelist and women's ministry leader are tasked with leading and growing a congregation and raising up leaders within that congregation. They are distinguished by their character of having great faith in God, being diligent and keeping their head in all situations. This would be an accurate description not only of the work that they've done, but the character that they've shown. I'm going to get you guys to stand a little closer here, and if I can get Ben closer by my side, that would be great. Uh, as tradition, we gift them with Bibles, and uh, Ruth and I wrote an inscription. I'm going to read my inscription to Ben, and then, Jen's, uh, and then Ruth's going to read her inscription to Jen. So It says, Ben, your journey of faith has been a proclamation of God's sovereignty. We have witnessed you go from baptized disciple to husband to father, and now the leader of the Grand Rapids Church. Wow. Your willingness to serve God has been a declaration of your faith in Christ Jesus. As Barnabas laid his possessions at the feet of the apostles, in the same way, you have been a pillar of encouragement and dedication Amen. to the saints. Your leadership has been an inspiration. Mm -hmm. As Paul planted seeds of hope and conviction, in the same way, you've found effective and creative ways to impart faith and wisdom yeah. to God's people. Yeah. I want to read from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. It says, In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing in his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. It's an honor to recognize my co-worker, my brother, and my friend as an evangelist in the kingdom of God. Continue to lead with the wisdom and conviction that God has imparted to you through his Holy Spirit. And never stop proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord. Your brother and friend, Mark Hamm. Jen. As Ruth was devoted to Naomi, in the same way, you have been a loyal and humble partner in the gospel. I want you to know that I admire your intelligence, your humility, and in your gentle spirit. Proverbs 31 speaks about the wife of a noble character, and these four verses remind me of you. In verse 11, her husband has full confidence in her. Verse 17 says, she sets about her work vigorously. Verse 25, she is clothed with strength and dignity. And finally, in verse 26, she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. You have been a great example to the women in the Detroit church of what it means to be a woman of God. It is my privilege to recognize you, my sister and friend, as a women's ministry leader in God's kingdom. I want to close with this charge. Be prayerful always, trust in God, and continue to build up His church. Love, Ruth. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, um, as I reflected on this interesting turn of events in our lives, particularly 
um, the last three years in full-time ministry, um, the honor of, of this appointment, and um, our upcoming transition to Grand Rapids, I, this thing just comes in my mind, like, but these are my people. Mm. Like, oh, I'm not leaving my people. And these are the, the only people I've ever known and loved. Well, the Detroit family has indeed been my people for nearly half of my life, ever since I started hanging out with the EMU campus ministry. <laughs> there for my growing up as a grown-up and for countless special times in my life. You've counseled me and taught me, you've corrected me, and you've supported and loved me and my family all this time. I'm so grateful for God putting me in this community of believers and giving me such a sense of belonging here among you. I'm grateful for your influence in my life for your friendship, and honestly, sometimes just your presence, just your faces. Now the Bible says in Hebrews 2.11, both the one who makes people holy and those who are made holy are of the same family. Mm. So Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters. And I want you to know, like when I think of you, the Detroit church family, I am full to the brim with pride. I'm so, so proud to say that I've been raised by you. And you've changed my life in innumerable ways. And because of this, I'm, I'm so, so thankful. Thank you for being my people. Amen. I'll keep it brief. I'm, I'm actually preaching here after the fellowship break, so I'll keep it brief. But I do want to thank uh, Mark and Ruth for seeing something in us it's very rare it's very weird to like go into the ministry at 40. Um, you know they usually think that this is something that young people do and yet uh, for someone to look at the 20 years of, of involvement in this family and say hey these people have brought you to a place that you are considered a leader um, it really is not so much a reflection on our character but on everyone's involvement in our lives mm. So I would just say, echo what Jen said, that this is not so much about us, but it's about you, that you made us who we are. Um, you were very patient with us. You Sometimes you rebuked us. <laughs> sometimes you corrected and trained us. Um, but over the last 20 years, I can see uh, that so much of my spiritual development is external. It's come from other people. But I've had wise spiritual people in my life. And so I see so many of the best parts of me are, I see other people in all of those things. I also just want to thank our families, yeah. my parents and Jen's parents, um, for setting just the most amazing foundation for us that we are only here because of uh, the way God used them. And uh, so we're super grateful. Thank you. We love you. Thanks. Hey. Hey. I'm going to ask our two deacons to uh, lead us in a word of prayer to pray for their family, but also that the work that they're going to be continuing out in Grand Rapids is going to clip them. Before we start praying, I just want to say just a couple words. Um, I've had an opportunity to go to um, India with these two and um, to live across the hall from them for two weeks and just to hang out. I have full confidence in what these two will do in Grand Rapids. And for the rest of Michigan. Thank you so much for our unbelievable two weeks. Jen, you become my little sister <laughs> and my little brother. And um, I appreciate you guys so much. Let us pray. Thank you. God, thank you so much for the God that you are. Thank you so much for this family. God, I have full confidence. And I know more so than me, you have unbelievable confidence in these two here going off to Grand Rapids, leading that body there. God, please be with their family as a whole, the two little boys to grow up and to be young men in your kingdom and to love you with all the heart, mind, soul, and strength. God, protect them. Give them all that they need. God, we need you. We love you. We thank you. Sing your son's name. We pray all things. Amen. 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 Please continue with me as we pray for the mission. Father, we send Ben and Jen off, Father. They're going to invest their love 
their hearts, their faith in their lives, into a church of people they're just getting to know, and an entire city, Father, that they don't know. Father, please give them courage, boldness, faith, humility, perseverance, God, and most of all, love for the disciples, love for the lost. Fathers, they invest in them. Father, when things are going extremely well, I pray that they'll look to you and give you thanks. And when things are going extremely difficult, I pray they'll cry out to you and ask for help. Father, use them to plant and water seeds, God, that you will make grow, to make an eternal difference in people's lives, marriages, and family. Father, I pray here in Detroit, we'll remember them in our prayers. God, we'll have the same zeal for the mission that they do. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I uh, want to introduce you to the newest evangelist and women's counselor, Ben and Jen Weatherstone. We are dismissed by fellowship. Baby.